Now in the co-main event, this was the second of the three title fights. Alexander Volkanovsky, we're actually on video, so I could do this. One, <laughs> the, for those who listen to that, I actually did parentheses there. Uh, Volkanovsky got the decision there, but I think in this case, Holloway was absolutely robbed. I thought it was a clear loss to him in their first fight. Close, but Volkanovsky winning this one. I thought it was a clear three rounds to two for Max Holloway. He looked fantastic. He was really targeting that body. He took away the early leg kicks from Volkanovsky. He looked fantastic in the early portion of that fight. I'm a little bit shocked and I feel terrible because it was an immediate rematch. We knew that Max would be able to catch up, I guess, as it were. He'd be able to make adjustments, but this is so fast after the initial fight that he wasn't able to make nearly the adjustments, let alone how his training situation was. I don't believe for a minute that he did all his training via Zoom. I just know that the penalties in Hawaii for breaking the rules on uh, social distancing and being with large groups of people is pretty severe. I believe it's a $1,200 find for if they find you with too big of a group of people and he's not going to pay that. So thus the Zoom rumors. But he looked phenomenal here. And I just feel so bad because you lost twice to the current champ, even though so many people like if you go back i i don't always do this but we've brought it up before in past goings of this show the uh ma decisions website is a great thing to check out obviously looking obviously one via split decision but if you go down the utter vast majority of media scorecards had it for holloway like three quarters of the scorecards had it for max holloway at the 40 47 that's the way they went i don't know it, it's rough um they're not, there's no way they're going to do another immediate rematch because he's lost the first two, so he's going to have to win something. But, man, I, I don't know. You feel you feel bad for Max because the first one was close, and I thought he won this one, and now he's kind of in no man's land. Mike, how did you score this fight? How did you see just the fight in general? And I guess where you see both these guys going after this. Man, I absolutely hate MMA judging. These Some of these guys are absolute garbage. I mean, Absolutely. I, 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 I've been, we've been a Max fan for a long time. I have, I try to have an open mind all the time when I to throw down a bet. And if I lose one, I, I'm like, man, you were super biased and you need to open up your mind to that fighter being better than you thought they were. And I did that with, uh, uh, Volkanovsky. I, I, I bet Max the first time on the show. I, I died with my boy because I Volkanovski did a great job in that first fight. I clearly thought he won it, and I was I was biased watching um, as Max a Max fan and a better. And so this time I said that Volkanovski was going to win, um, and I didn't like the fight for Max, and I just didn't like it in general. And so I was pissed off that I didn't back my boy more for the rematch because I I really believe that Volkanovski. I thought he was that good. So Max comes in here and shows us a great performance. Literally amazing. I had him up the first three rounds pretty much, I think it was. Um, and then Volkanovski did look really, really good in the championship rounds. And so I told my friends at the party that day that, you know, you watch this shit, dude. The, the judges, you never trust these judges. And you, it, this is um, a championship fight and you got to come and you got to beat the champion at times. And so if you're not winning the fifth round in a close fight, they're going to give it to the, the other guy a lot of the times. And so I, I was super upset for Max in the sense of I thought he won that fight clearly. Everyone else did too, but certainly not one of those crooked judges. And uh, I don't know why, why he didn't see it the way we did. I would have sure loved to see Max get his belt back and then we could have saw a trilogy uh, and it would just would have been... Uh, an amazing thing down the way. It's still going to be amazing. Hopefully they fight again, but the chances are, are slimmer and slimmer, you know. I don't know if I said this uh, after the first fight. Um, more and more, I am very much getting opposed to immediate rematches when it comes to title fights. I normally don't think there's enough time. Like I, I remember saying when they made this uh, immediate rematch, I wasn't a fan of it, mainly for Max. I didn't think he had enough time to shorten up the gaps but he was which is the crazy part but i'm officially and i probably will say it here on out unless it's like an utter fluke something crazy happened like an eye, po eye poke dq or whatever if it's an immediate rematch i'm pretty much from here on out just going to be against it i don't think it ever goes well i think it takes away from good build up and i know the worry is that the person's going to fight someone else next and they might lose again and then you won't get the rematch but how great would it have been if 
Volkanovsky beats Max the first time. And then Max fights someone we'll talk about uh, later tonight, like, like Dan Ige, and gets a win. And then comes back with a win, with that confidence back, so a time to like practice out and shorten up any shortcomings he may or may not have had in that first fight. I think it would make for a better fight. Um, I don't know. I'm... I feel bad for Max because, like, I, I don't know why I always feel the need to justify it, but we have, like, if you're going to design a fighter that is this type of style that we like, the, the volume striker that can fight from both stances and really digs at the body and has good head movement, like, is it the type of fighter that we love? Other than great maybe a little bit more knockout part. Yeah, great takedown. Oh, amazing takedown. When he gets in the wizard, he just, like, it's just a dead stop. It's, it's so impressive. I don't know, man. It, it, it's rough. I walk away from this worried for max because i mean i know he's only 28 but he's got a lot of miles on him and when he first when he went up to 155 against poyer it did not go well and i know poyer is one of the top guys uh at 155 but i wish max could stay at 45 and i wish he sold his belt right now because i think he should if you like this clip remember to like subscribe and comment we want to hear from you let's roll